Hello again, everyone. This is Leslie from purple.com, and this is another free bonus lecture for the Node.js masterclass. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about another one of the errors that you're likely to hit when creating and testing a RESTful API in Node, and that is this. Error, can't set headers after they are sent. This is one of the trickiest bugs you'll encounter for two reasons. A, it often only becomes noticeable on the HTTP request that comes after the request that is actually causing the problem. And B, the error message, as you can see, is not useful information, and it usually sends the developer looking for a bug in the wrong area of their code. So this lecture has three parts. First, I'm going to create an example that replicates this error. Second, I'm going to explain what the message actually means and what the error means in general. Third, I'm going to show you a very simple strategy you can use to get past this bug. Part one. Okay, let's make this error. This sample index.js file is taken straight from the lectures in section three when we're building out our API and learning how to return responses in JSON. Just to review how this code works, I've got a few dependencies, HTTP, URL, and string decoder. I'm using the HTTP module to instantiate a server here. And when the HTTP request comes in, I parse the data and get all the information from the request, like the payload and the query string. And down here, I have a very simple router. And within the HTTP request, I use that router to route the request to a chosen handler that will actually handle the bulk of the processing of the request. These handlers are defined down here. We have a sample handler, which just returns 406 and some JSON and then a catch-all not found handler that gets called if any other path other than sample is requested. Okay, now we're up to speed. Let's show how this works, or at least how it's supposed to work if everything is going well. I'm gonna start up the server, and now I'm gonna go over to Postman and make an HTTP request to the server on the sample route. I'm gonna make it a post request. I'll send it, and you'll see I got 406 and the JSON back. Now I'm going to switch over to the 404 handler by making a request on a path that the API doesn't recognize. So I'm just going to put in some gibberish here. Send that off, and you'll see I got back 404 and an empty JSON body. And that is all good. No errors so far. Now let's do something that accidentally makes an error. I'm going to introduce some logic into this sample handler so that it gives different responses if the HTTP method is post or if it's something else. So I'm going to say if the method equals post, then I want to call back a 200. Otherwise, I want to call back 405, which means method not allowed. And at the very end, I'll add one final callback, which calls back 406. Now let's see this in action. I'm gonna save this file and start the server back up. Now I'm going to go back to Postman and repeat the exact same actions that I did last time. I'm going to make a post request, send it off. You can see this time I get 200 and the JSON body. Now I'm going to switch over to a random route so that it hits the 404 handler again and send off the request. Uh-oh, Postman couldn't get any response from the server. So let's go back and look at our server. And sure enough, we have an error. Error, can't set headers after they are sent. So we're left with two questions. The two questions that make this bug so confusing. A, why did the error show up on the HTTP request we made to the 404 handler? when we hadn't even edited that route. So how did 404 end up with a bug? B, we didn't do anything related to headers. So why is this error message talking to us about headers? To answer these two questions, let's move on to part two of this lecture. Part two, what does this error mean? First, let's clear up the first part of the confusion from earlier. This bug appears to have occurred on our second HTTP request, but it didn't. It actually happened on the first one. Let's repeat our process and double check. I'm starting the server back up. Now I'm gonna go back to Postman 
and make a post request to the sample route. And I get the response back. So I think the server is still up, but it's not. When I go back to the terminal, I can see that the server has actually already crashed and spit out this error. But back in Postman, we have no way of knowing that. All we know is that we sent a request and got a response, so everything seems fine. Little do we know that the server actually crashed after it sent back this response to us. So when we make this subsequent HTTP request to the server trying to hit the 404 route, Postman sees this error then because at that point, it's trying to make a request to a server that's already down. This issue here is 50% of why this bug is so hard for people to debug themselves. They'll be debugging and looking through logs and the clues will point them to trying to debug whatever HTTP request is happening after the one with the actual problem. For us, this debugging flow would lead us to trying to debug our 404 route, even though it doesn't have any issue. Now, let's clear up the other part of the confusion from earlier. Why is this error message talking about headers? Well, it's simple. When you see this error message, that is just Node.js saying in a cryptic way, you already sent an HTTP response to this request. You can't send it again. So when you see this error, just translate it in your head to, my app is trying to send the HTTP response twice which means one of my handlers is likely calling back twice on accident. So let's look at the code. Here we see this is the case. Our sample handler has this extra callback. So when the HTTP request comes in, it hits this handler and goes through the if switch and will either call back here if the method is post, or it's gonna call back here if the method is anything other than post. And at that point, after the callback, the response is sent by the HTTP server. The request is done and closed. But the process, the thread, continues and hits this second errant callback. And so it calls back again. And this time, the server tries to send an HTTP response to a request that already got a response. And the first part of sending a response is setting the headers, as we can see up here. But once you've done that and you've already sent off the response, you can't set headers again. So the second time we call back, it runs through this logic again and then hits this line which tries to set headers for response that's already gone and node spits out the error, can't set headers after they are sent. And the thread dies. Part three, the solution. Now that you see what this error means, the solution should be self-evident. Has two parts. First part, replicate the error one step at a time so that you can determine exactly which HTTP request is causing the server to crash because it's likely not the request that you originally thought. Oftentimes, especially when dealing with complex clients, we have multiple HTTP requests hitting our APIs one after another. We cannot rely on simply debugging the HTTP request that was happening when we saw the crash. We actually have to walk through the HTTP request one step at a time, and after each request finishes, look at the server and see if it has crashed. That will let us determine which HTTP request is causing the crash. Secondly, when you figure out which handler is to blame, get rid of the extra callback that is likely lurking in there somewhere. So let's implement this strategy. We've already identified that the sample handler is to blame, and we found the extra callback. So now we're going to delete it, start the server back up again. Now we're going to go back to Postman and repeat our requests. I send off a post request to sample, and it works fine. I hit the 404 handler, and it still works fine. Problem solved. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this bonus lecture, and I hope it illuminated this error a bit for you. If you've encountered it, it can be very hard to debug for the reasons I talked about earlier, but hopefully now you have a strategy for how you can tackle this error. And if you're watching this, but you haven't enrolled in the Node.js masterclass yet, please do. You can purchase it at purple.com. Thanks a lot.